Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be finding the confidence interval for the mean using IBM SPSS 26. For this video, I prepared the data set for it using the same example I'm using for my other videos. So we have the age and we're going to find the confidence interval for the age regardless of gender. So to find the confidence interval, which is part of the descriptive statistics, we're going to click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics. We're going to go to Explore. We're going to add the age to the dependent list. And we're going to click on Statistics. Make sure you check descriptive, it's already checked. By default, it's 95% confidence interval. So we're going to start with 95% and later we're going to change it to other confidence interval for the mean. And just to show you the different values, click on continue. And make sure here you don't want information that you don't need. So you don't, if you don't want any graphs, just check statistics and click OK. Here we're going to give you the summary statistics as with any descriptive statistics option. So it's going to give you the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, and so on. But what we are interested in is this part over here. That's the 95 confidence center for the mean. This is the lower bound, and this is the upper bound, which is basically the mean plus or minus the standard error of the estimate. So it's the mean plus or minus this value over here. Now let's go back to our data set and let's create a different confidence interval. So we're going to go back to descriptive statistics, explore, and the only thing we're going to change is over here and let's see if we choose 98% confidence interval. Click OK. And it's going to give me the 98% confidence interval. And if you compare it to the 95 here, you will see that the 98 is wider. And that's how it is usually with confidence interval. The higher the confidence level, the wider the confidence interval. It's the same mean, but it's different standard error of the estimate, and which leads to lower, different lower and upper bound, which would be different than these two values as we know already. Let's do one more. So let's go back to the data set and analyze descriptive statistics, explore, and this time let's do 99% confidence level. And you will see that the interval will become even wider than the 98%. So that's the 99% confidence interval for the mean. You can see that the values are a bit wider than the 98, which is also wider than the 95 confidence level. And of course, whatever confidence level you're looking for, you just have to change it. So one more time, analyze, descriptive statistics, explore, and just change the value of here. Thank you for watching and look for other videos on how to use SPSS.